Acorn Media, Acorn, Acorn, however you want to pronounce it, Media in the UK, sent over a copy of VHS 99 on Blu-ray, uh, released there before the American version, as there is no American VHS 99 out just yet, although I'm sure it's coming very soon, by what I'm hearing. Uh, this thing, you know, I'm a big fan of the VHS series. This one was a bit of a letdown compared to the one previously, but it was still fun. Uh, I want to say something I say quite often when I talk about these type of movies. It's solid. It's an anthology film. The wraparound's a little bit weak, but there was some highlights to it. This particular copy here comes with deleted scenes, shredding uh, bitch cat music video, the gawkers, camera test and making of, Medusa, to hell and back storyboard, location scouting and more. The, um, the hell and back one's interesting. The, uh, the, the TV show thing, it, it, it's quite solid. I liked it. Um, the, definitely the, the one, the very last one, the hell and back one, may be the best part of it. Some of the rest of them, like the rock band one and the one about like the hazing at the school, they just, they, they were good, but they were just kind of there. They didn't really seem to be, um, you know, they didn't really stand out. Whereas the previous one I thought stood out. I'll, from start to finish, probably one of the best in the series. Next to part two, maybe the best in the series overall. This one here, uh, it did what it wanted to do, but it kind of pulled up just a little short, I think, in the classic range. This will play in your American Blu-ray player if you don't want to wait for the USA version of this, which is both RLJ Entertainment. Of course, this one's in association with Acorn uh, Media International. Uh... I will say this much about this movie. It's it, it has a kind of a weak wraparound. It's kind of cool how like the wraparound kind of plays into like one of the the Medusa segment that's in the uh that's in the movie that actually plays out before the last segment, which is kind of odd, but I see why they wanted to do the Helen Back one last because it was probably a better note to go out on. But the uh you know, the, the wraparound is a little bit weak. It's a little bit weak <laughs> when you get to the gist of it, especially how it plays out. But other than that, you know, there's weak points, but there's very good points, and all in all, it's a fun entry into the franchise, because the VHS movies, if nothing else, are fun, unless we're talking about VHS Viral, and that one was a hunk of crap, so we won't talk about that one, but this is good stuff, and uh, if you haven't seen it, definitely recommend checking it out, it's on Shutter. it's an original, uh, you can wait for the American version, or you can order this now and pick this up, uh, I know this was made back to back with another VHS, VHS 85, which is probably going to come around, come out around October, I guess, by the time this came out last year. We'll see how that one does. But if you're into the VHS uh, thing, yeah, when why wouldn't you be? This is a good one to watch, and there is more a in depth review on this channel. I will try to link that below where I had previously reviewed it before there was any physical version of it out. Uh, still pretty much, you know, I like it. I don't love it. But I like it a lot, if that makes sense to you. And I definitely is it's definitely something I want to go back and watch along with all the VHS movies, even if I have to power through the before mentioned VHS viral, which is kind of rough. But yeah, if you like anthologies, you like found footage, this is the best of both worlds in this franchise. So give this one a go.